Thomas was taking Sir Topham Hatt and Dowager Hatt to the mainland to go to the opera. I used to be quite the singer in my day. Would you like to hear me sing? Um, well, perhaps later. <laughs> me, my, moo. <coughs> Cinders and ashes. Whoa! Thomas, why have we stopped? Up ahead, sir. Look! Thomas, back up, back up! Thomas, look out! Percy! Oh no! We're going to have a crash! <gasps> oh no! Toad could see that Thomas and Percy didn't have enough time to reverse and clear the line. Toad knew he had to save them all now. <gasps> He's going to his house! <laughs> Toad had done it. He'd stopped the coal cars just in time. Everyone was very relieved. <coughs> well done, Toad! Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Just <coughs> doing my job. Sorry, Thomas, I lost my cars on the hill. Is everyone all right? No, James, everyone is not all right. You have caused confusion and delay. I demand to know how this happened. Well, sir, the thing is, I was going too fast. There was a fallen branch on the line, sir. It was nobody's fault. It was an accident. Oh, accident, eh? Well, um... Sounds to me rather like this little brick van saved us all from disaster. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yes, I... <coughs> I suppose so. You are a really useful and very brave brick van. Quite right. Uh, well done, Toad. Carry on, carry on. The opera awaits. <laughs> Welcome to Soldor. Join Thomas as you've never seen him before. Thomas! <laughs> Oops, sorry. And discover how everyone's favorite engine became the world's number one.